Not having enough time is no excuse to skip a morning routine. So let's reclaim your mornings with simple five minute morning rituals that anyone can do anywhere. Sometimes it works out and sometimes it don't. Sometimes you win some. These will help you start your day with intention, positivity, and clarity. So let's jump right in. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about five minute morning rituals, which are basically three different things that you can try out in the mornings that you only have to spend five minutes on. This allows you to take advantage of the morning and also be able to set yourself up for a successful day without having to spend so much time on a more traditional morning routine. The fact that these only take five minutes each is really great because I feel like it's very sustainable and I'm going to be sharing some tips on different ways that you can do these things and hacks to make it a lot easier. So don't simply neglect your mornings because you feel like you just don't have the time. I get it. Of course, if I have all the time in the world, I love to do a full morning routine where I'm waking up, I'm doing a gua sha on my face, ice rolling, making a nice breakfast, doing a full skincare routine, having time to read chapters of a book. All those things are fantastic and I've actually created some morning routine videos on my channel, so I'll link them in the cards and you can go check them out. But for the most part on a regular day, if it's not like a Sunday where I have all this extra time, realistically, it's really challenging to do a morning routine that takes around an hour. But I think all of us can find five minutes and I want us to use those five minutes to our benefit. So let's go ahead and jump right in. If you are an aesthetic girly or you're following any of the aesthetic girly stuff on Pinterest, I'm pretty sure you have seen the five minute journal. I'm here to tell you it is definitely worth the hype. Yes, it's very pretty and it's very aesthetically pleasing, but at the same time, it actually is super helpful and very valuable. And the simplicity is in the title. Simply five minutes in the morning using this journal can help set you up for success. What I love about this journal is it really gives me an opportunity to be reflective and to practice gratitude every single morning, but it's also very intentional. There's not a lot of fluff in there. It causes you to be able to think a little bit deeper and to connect with yourself, but it's something that you can do in a short amount of time. So there is space for things like gratitude, like I mentioned. There's also space for affirmations and options for you to set goals or intentions for the day, which I think provides a lot of clarity and can help you go through your day intentionally, really focusing on how you want to become a better version of yourself while also being very sustainable. And if you're someone who doesn't love a prompted journal like the five minute journal, you can simply just take moments to write every single morning. You can write about what you want to accomplish that day or how you would like to feel that day or what you're going to be doing to work toward becoming the best version of yourself or how you're gonna live as this higher self or elevated version of you. Whatever really works for you, you can just jot it down in a simple journal. You can jot it down in your notes. It doesn't have to necessarily be the five minute journal, but if you are looking for something that's very nice, you can kind of keep it by your bedside. I would definitely recommend the five minute journal and I will link a copy of it for you all in the description box below as well. The second thing that you can do to be very intentional about your mornings, but also making sure it's a sustainable habit that doesn't take a long time is enjoying a morning stretch routine. Yes, all you need is five minutes for a good stretch. This is the perfect thing to do in the morning because it really allows you to wake up your body and release the tension from the night before, especially if you're a rough sleeper like me, a nice morning stretch definitely comes in handy. So just remember, you literally do not have to go all out. A simple morning stretch, maybe reaching for the ceiling and then touching your toes, kind of bending your knees, rocking back and forth, pulling your arms across your body. The basic stretches that you can do every single day will be helpful to start your morning for success. This truly can energize you and just give you a really positive outlook on the day. And the greatest thing about stretching is I feel like it's something that you can do anywhere. I literally have a mat that I just roll out here in my office, but it's also possible if you do not work from home. So before when I was teaching a classroom or when I was working for a nonprofit in office, I had a mat in my office under my desk. I had a mat in my classroom under my desk. So in the mornings before the students would come in, I would take just five minutes to stretch. Roll my mat out, obviously it took a little bit more disinfecting, but for the most part, roll it out, wipe it off, put it back up. And the same thing when working in an office setting, you can just keep it right there, tuck it away easily, but you'll be able to access it and it's routine that you can stick to. Now, of course, if you're like, okay, what are these basic stretches? I don't know what to do. How, do, how long do I reach? How long do I touch my toes? I totally get that too. So there are a ton of apps that have resources for stretching and for moving your body, and you can set specific time limits. So I like to use the Peloton app since I 
already have it for the bike, but you can just use the app services and in there you can go in and filter. You can say, I want to do a stretch. If you want to do full body, upper body, lower body, kind of filter by what you prefer. And then also the best thing is you can filter by time. So I can say, I want to do a five minute full body stretch and boom, I have all these options to be able to guide me through morning stretches and make it a lot easier, make it something I don't even have to think about, but it's like a fun motivational thing because I know every single day I can go click on the TV, turn on Peloton. You can use Peloton app on your phone. Basically, whatever works for you, you can take it on the go, do it at home, and be able to follow along with a helpful stretch routine. And the third thing is another option that you can do pretty much anywhere, which is practicing mindfulness and deep breathing. This is really important because it allows you to spend five minutes just simply being present with yourself. It's really helpful for remaining grounded and also remaining connected with who you are and what you want in life and how you want to go throughout your day. Plus, it's another thing that you can do pretty much anywhere. Find somewhere to sit. Honestly, standing works as well, depending on your circumstances. Close your eyes and simply focus on your breath. I like to do box breathing where I inhale for four, hold for four, exhale for four, and then again, repeat the cycle for four seconds with each thing. But there are a ton of different breathing techniques that you can do to really connect with yourself and set aside this time in the morning. Again, keeping it simple, making it easy. Spotify has a lot of like guided breathing workouts that you're able to do. So again, filter it by the amount of time you wanna spend and then get into a nice breathing routine for the morning. And remember to be very intentional about it. So as you're breathing, you are letting go of the stress, the worries, the tension, and all the things that have built up. And you are genuinely connecting with yourself and allowing yourself time to just simply pause and reset. I really feel like when I start my day off in silence and just breathing, it allows me to start my day with a very calming mindset, but it also provides me a lot of clarity with how I wanna move throughout the day and the different things that I would like to accomplish. So those are the three different five minutes morning rituals that I wanted to share with you all in this video today. Definitely just remember taking five minutes for yourself is something that you can do and it's a commitment that you can make as you're on this journey to becoming the best version of yourself. So remember, even if you can't make time for a full morning routine, make time for little things that are going to make a big difference. If you're trying any of these out, definitely let me know in the comments down below. And of course, if you have some five minute morning rituals that have worked out for you that you wanna share with the community, comment those down below as well. And I would love to personally give them a try. Thank you all so much for watching. And if you are a subscriber who has seen my content before, please let me know how the sound quality is. Y'all, I'm trying to give y'all all the good quality videos. I'm really committed to growing my channel, but also creating good, helpful content for all of you that you can enjoy enjoy fully. So I'm trying holding the mic a little bit closer. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know how the sound is coming through and thank you all so much for always supporting. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.